Welcome back to the channel guys. I know in the last video I said we was going to do the wheel bearing. Well, that was the plan, but I forgot my tool at work. So, in this video, we're just going to go ahead and get the even easier thing done, which is swap out these inner tie rod ends. Now, I bought these used. Um, that was a long time ago. I come across a good deal, and I bought them used. So that's just where we're at with those. But you can get these brand new from Main Street Cycle. They're totally sponsoring this whole build. Basically the whole thing. And they're taking good care of me and they're taking real good care of you guys. So I highly recommend that you go over and check them out for any of your ATV, UTV accessories, needs. Even if you want to buy a dirt bike or a four-wheeler for your kids for Christmas. Definitely get a hold of them because they got a lot of stuff in stock. Anything you can think of, I guarantee they have it. I mean, they just got a ton of everything. So whenever you go over there and check them out, whether you're texting them or whatever it may be, let them know Redneck Garage sent you. It really lets them know that my videos are doing their job and they keep helping me out the best they can. And that is super awesome. So in today's video, we're going to install the inner tie rod in. The only tool you're going to need for this is a brand new zip tie and a crescent wrench. The only reason I'm saying a crescent wrench is because not everybody has a wrench this big because you're going to need a big wrench. And instead of going out and buying that big wrench that you're only going to use a couple of times in your entire life, just buy a crescent wrench. Now I actually do have wrenches for these. But I'm doing it in a way that you guys can do it um, in these videos. So that's just how we operate. I always try to do things as simple and as easy with less tools as possible. That way you, the viewer, who isn't in the mechanic industry and has all kinds of tools at your hand, can do it with minimal tools or tools you can borrow from somebody. So that's where we're at. Let's get into the video. Go, guys. We're definitely in here. Now all you're going to do is just go ahead and just pop this boot off because CF Moto only put a zip tie on there and it's not that tight honestly. And um, so we'll be replacing that zip tie. But one little trick here is what I did because you're going to need the room is turn your wheel. We're on the passenger side. So you're going to want to turn your wheel all the way to the left. That way it pushes this all the way out to the right. So you got room to work and then you'll repeat the process only backwards on the other side. But you're going to want to get your wrench in here just like so. Let me get it adjusted here. Get it adjusted. And get it on here. This is awkward. So you're going to just want to break it loose just like that. Just like that. And then we're going to uh, take it out of here. Just like so. She'll unscrew. Just like that, guys. She's out. Now, this is actually a good piece. It's got a good tie rod end on it. So we'll be saving all these extra parts. Going to get our new used one that I bought. Put on here. Just like so. Now these are lefty loosey, righty tighty. Now that we got that on there, now these ain't got to be herky herky on here, but they also need to be tight. So we will make sure to get it tight. Now, guys, they do actually make a tool. For this, which like I said, I do have the tools for these tie rod ends, but they're expensive and everything. And you'd want to just pull this boot all the way off. It'd have to come all the way off. It's a tube that slides over here and, and a tool that, yeah, I have it. And honestly, they're a pain in the rear end to use, but they do work. 
I bought I bought mine years and years and years ago, and I try to use them as less as possible. <laughs> She's installed and ready to go on, but I gotta pull this knuckle off and take it to work with me so I can do this wheel bearing. I wish I didn't have to do a wheel bearing, but it is what it is. If I could get that wheel bearing tightened up, but I don't think we can, so I'll have to take it with me. So yeah, guys, it's that simple. You repeat that same process on the other side, and then you're done. This ain't that long of a video, which is good for you guys. Good for me. Quick editing. Yee yee. And uh, you guys can learn. So I hope that you're able to watch these videos and learn some of these things. So you can actually save money and do some of this stuff yourself. Just buy the parts for Main Street Cycle and do the stuff yourself and save a ton of money. So that's that's what I'm here to do is help you guys save money and that's what i'll continue to do so i want to thank you guys for watching this short one and we'll see you in the next one peace out and god bless and before we leave i want to make sure that you know about our 7k giveaway when i reach 7k subscribers on my channel we'll be giving away three oil change kits main street cycle is supplying them and we'll be giving them away so if you want to enter to win that all you have to do is either a go find the 7k giveaway video and comment on that but also comment on all of my videos that I'm bringing out make sure you watch them comment you got to be subscribed and all that to enter to win because I'll be picking winners random winners from random videos that I posted but the one the video the main video, the 7K giveaway video, the first winner will come from that one, and then two videos will render two more winners. So that's how we're doing it. Three winners get oil change kits, and we all know how much oil costs these days, and that would be cool to have. So make sure you're commenting. Peace out, guys.